Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll see Push TV not turning on what to do. So let's get started. The solution number one power cycle TV. Ensure the TV is switched off and unplugged. Press and hold the physical power button on the TV for at least 15 seconds. Allow at least two minutes for any residual power to dissipate from the TV capacitors. Reconnect the power cable to the TV and plug it into the working power outlet. Try turning on the TV to see if it powers up correctly. The solution number two is unplug your HDMI cables. Unplug all the HDMI cables from the TVs, HDMI ports ensure all other external connections such as aerial or the satellite cables are securely connected. Power on the TV to see if it turns on without the HDMI cables connected. If the TV turns on, reconnect the HDMI cables one by one to identify the faulty cable. Once the faulty HDMI cable is identified, replace it with the new one. The solution number three is check remote while take out the batteries from the remote control while the batteries are out press and hold the power button for about one minute to drain any excess battery power. Press each button on the remote control few times to ensure they are not stuck. Put the batteries back into the remote control. Check if the TV remote control is now working. If the remote still doesn't work, press each button individually to see if any of them are stuck. If a button is stuck, remove the batteries. Press the stuck button a few times to free it. Then reinsert the batteries and test the remote again. The solution number four is check the power supply. Ensure that the TV is properly plugged into the working power outlet. Unplug the TV. Plug another device into the same outlet to confirm it works. Then the plug the TV back in. If the TV is plugged into the surge protector or the power strip, try plugging it directly into the wall outlet. If the TV still won't turn on, the power supply may be damaged and require a replacement. The solution number 5 is check the power cord. Check the power cord for any visible damage such as fraying or cuts. If possible, test the power cord using the multimeter to ensure it's functioning properly. If the power cord is damaged or not functioning, replace it with the new one. Okay, so that's all about this particular video, guys. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you and all. Thank you. Bye bye.